क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 राइट एग्जाम दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द कन्वर्जन ऑफ कैपिटल एसेट इन टू स्टॉक इन ट्रेड दैट आई हैव थॉट यू रिसेंटली सो लेट्स सी इफ यू वांट यू कैन रिवाइज इट राइट नाउ एंड कीप इट ऑन द स्क्रीन वॉज द वीडियो एंड रिवाइज आई होप यू ऑल हैव रिवाइज दैट आई विल स्टिल अगेन एक्सप्लेन यू I no there is no need I have already told you I have explained this now I will show the practical implication on the sums let's see RF converted his plot of land purchased in July 2002 for rupees eighty thousand into stock in trade on thirty first March two thousand fifteen he converted eighty thousand into stock in trade on thirty first March two thousand fifteen the fair market value as on thirty one three two thousand fifteen was rupees one lakh ninety thousand the stock in trade was sold for rupees. Two lakh twenty-five thousand in the month of January two thousand and sixteen. Find out the tax income. Wait, let me zoom in. Tax income, if any, and if so, under which head of income and for which assessment year? This is very important assessment year. So let's start conversion of the capital asset. Write the theory. This theory that I have given you. and if you want you can read it from here also and this much theory you can write in this part again if there is any space you have left uh now let's move calculation for the purpose of capital gain first before calculation of capital gain we have to calculate pgpp you have to make two different boxes like how i have made please don't do it in one sum do it do it in two different boxes computation of capital gain computation of profit and gains of business and profession first sale price of the stock in trade 225000 less fair fair market value on the date of acquisition instead of that right of cost of acquisition write their cost of acquisition coa 190000 35000 is business income write over your business income c business profit and gain business income okay now since cost of sales have been taken as 190000 then foc over year will be taken as 190000 in which year the asset has been converted the asset has been converted the rf um, rf converted his plot of land in july uh, purchased oh, sorry RF converted his plot of land purchased in July 2002 for rupees 80,000 in stock in trade on 31st March 2015. That is the assessment he has converted in in the assessment year. Assessment year six. Wait, 16 and 17. Wait, wait, wait. There is something goof over here. I am finding 15, 15. Sorry, 15, 16. He has converted it in the assessment year 15, 16. so we have to calculate as per 15 16 the we have to calculate index cost of acquisition as per 15 and 16 see i'll show you over here sales consideration is 190000 that is foc wherever they have written sales consideration please cut it strike it off and write fair value of consideration less transfer expenses net consideration 190000 less index cost of acquisition 80000 since the assessment he has transferred in the assessment year 15 and 16 the the inflation rate will be taken Instead of one zero eight one, it will be taken as one zero two four C. One zero two four divided by inflation rate, four 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 seven divided by four four seven, and it will come the amount which what is given is the right amount. Then you will get long term capital gain. Put the amount here, long term capital gain, total income, liable to tax. Okay. I hope it is quite clear. One lakh ninety thousand will go up here. Please make a arrow like this. If you want to write anything that I have written, that I have done, please write it. Pause the video and write it. Question number twenty is the theory that I have already given in the section two forty seven. That is transfer. Question number twenty-two. You can solve it on your own. It is not a hard question. It is very easy. Question number twenty-four. Also, you can solve it on your own. Question number twenty-three. Also, you can solve it on your own. Question number twenty-five. Please write exam and solve it. It is an easy sum. Just I write exam because of the section ATC twenty thousand in ATC over here. Twenty 
why i have written okay uh, because of this commission you have to add it gross it up that i'll be teaching all this grossing up and all i'll be teaching you in pgpp so there is no need over because it is computation of total incomes part that i'll be teaching you in the chapter 8 the practice manual computation of the total income and tax payable so i'll be teaching it over there so don't worry don't do it question number 27 rest question i have not told i have not given as to do it before the exam because it is very hectic if you do this if you do this chapter computation of the total income your entire syllabus is covered so my main focus is to teach the sums of this chapter it will be very beneficial to you so our capital gain chapter comes to an end the entire theory parts comes to an end as well as the practical sums that i have to teach you all that is quite important for the exam that is also been taught the next video the next lectures will be on pgbp since the people are asking for pgbp they are finding it as a quite difficult head but as far as i have seen pgbp there are only the pgbp is divided into three different sections for me one depreciation one specified businesses and the third part is the computation of the income from business and profession that will be added in the total income that is very that is very simple and the fourth sorry not three parts and the fourth part is the presumptive income the remaining tax audit part and all that other parts are just the theory part that you can read it on yourself and you can do it but for the practical sums you will need my assistance so i'll be giving you purely practical things that will help you to solve the question that is the very first question computation of the total income of the paper so see ya i'll i'll record the next lectures for you all